Hello and welcome, I am Bjark the Bear, and today we are playing Kenshi. And so far uh, in this episode, we are back with the Gears and Stuff Trading Company, and uh, I'm having wind troubles again. <laughs> uh, let's see. So, the wind output's not that great, but uh, we can throw up a couple other power. Power is what I was trying to click. Uh, we could throw up a couple more small wind generators. We might as well. Because we're going to need them. So let's get these guys rolling on that. And let's see how our traders are doing. Uh, attacked. Bone dog, get out of here. Just leave you for now. Okay, so, uh, in our last episode, we had Sad Neil over in Black Scratch. He was doing the trading thing. He has the uh, pack beasts with him, lifter and hauler. And uh, what we are going to do now is get harassed one at a time by Blood Raiders. Give me all your stuff. Die in a ditch. We'll see you next time, friend. Uh, slave caravans, okay. Okay, okay. That must have been the Blood Raider group that was out there. Alright, anyways, um, lost my place. Thank you guys, I appreciate that. So what we are going to do now is uh, we are going to do a little bit of expansion. Um, our... Camp is going to get a little bit bigger. We're going to do it slowly uh, and in a way that's aesthetically pleasing. So we're going to make this place look pretty, basically. All right. We have these guys running back to us, so they should be they should be all right. Uh, and hunters. Nope, let you guys beat to death. Samurai boots. Probably more blood raiders. Yep. Alright, so... Oh, perfect. There they are. Holler and lifter are just down the way here. I don't know what that is. Grass pirates, we don't want to attract them. So let's go ahead and take the long way home. The long way home. Oh, uh, well, we got them anyways. All right. So we'll have you guys hold. Not to follow Sad Neil for now. Or don't even bother listening. Why Why we do that? <laughs> All right. So pull the plug on that guy. Let's go to the next one. Do that. You guys are coming back, right? Yes, they are. Okay. It's very slowly. So we, well, I made a discovery uh, here recently. So that there. I have one here. And. Of course, this big guy here. Those are all uh, pretty good quality iron nodes. I didn't even know that. Was not aware of this. <laughs> so I uh, thought I only had the one iron node, and I was thinking to myself, oh, well, I'll just, uh, how are you out of trading range? You're right there. You have to literally be standing on top of them. Jesus. But uh, anyway, the... Uh, I thought that I was going to have to use iron um, drills, ore drills, to get a lot of iron out of this, but as it turns out, I have a big uh, stupid amount of iron right beside me, So, which kind of makes sense because, you know, life does kind of spring up around these things, as you can see with uh, Black Scratch in particular. Come on. Um... Yeah, Black Scratch, uh, 
sprung up around something similar like this, and now it's one of the uh, one of the biggest trade hubs in the area. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Uh, steals. Let's come over here. Oh, under attack again. Hey. Alright, let's see what's going on first. Another dog. Oops, steals is by himself. Okay. Alright, here comes the horde. Daru over there. Look at you. Alright, Tex. Do me a favor, pull the plug. There's another. You, I have a feeling you're not dead. Yep, pull the plug. Come on, man, you have no hands. We're currently like a backwards Lieutenant Dan right now. Uh, homeboy, excuse me. Did you, uh, did you not see how that was my kill? Oh, fuck off. Fine. <laughs> um, let's see. That. Then we'll have X come pull the plug on these guys as well. Yeah, how do you feel wasting your, uh, your shackles on a dead man? I don't know, I'm gonna let the dogs do their business to you. Not even gonna help. One more backpack. Oh no! Okay, now we'll, uh, get over there. Uh oh. I think we could take them, but it's not worth the risk right now. Tough little puppy. There he goes. Pull the plug on that one. We're not done here. Though. Got a grass pirate. Where's my traders? Get over here. Next, stab it. Okay, so we killed him. Just gotta loot him. Oh, there's always room. Stop it. It's in the way. What? Oh, I'm out of trading range, but he's right there. Okay. Now let's do that. Put things in places where it makes sense. They fit. It's crazy. <laughs> All right. So slave traders oh they didn't uh he's still unconscious they didn't pick him up they they didn't say uh they didn't say no okay all right cool <laughs> Just gonna sell all of that stuff off, anyways. Uh, except that. Let's get a couple repair kits while we're out here, too. Good, good. Alright. So, while we may be peaceful robots, we are opportunists. <laughs> so, yeah. We get a chance to take loot, then. It's not, uh, let's not get it twisted. We will take the loot. <laughs> Alright. One more lootable. And at this point, I'm gonna need, uh, another pack beast. It keeps going like this. 
These guys are just loot pinatas at this point. That is a uh, that is a trademarked word, by the way, loot pinata. All right, so let's go ahead and run this up here. Uh, how's our power situation looking? Much better, much better. Um, we are definitely gonna have to switch to uh, generator generators, but it's not bad. Traders, you guys get over here. Get his much food on him as he can. We can take some of these bones. These sell for half decent. Taller. You've got lots of space. That is nonsense. Put that back. Those sell better. That sells way better. Sell you food. That stuff going. That's all you got. Oh, well, let's miss that. Okay. So, let's go ahead and boot scoot and buggy on back. Follow Sad Neil, both of you. I really hope that I had just those two. Yep. Oh, cool. Alright. Now, while we are very very closely watching these guys. Uh, we're also going to do a little bit of building. I hate that. So, layout for the town. I am going to build one building at a time, and I'm going to be very cautious of it because you can, if you build multiple buildings, there's a very good chance that you could have your building end up part of a neighboring town. Uh, we are very close to... Well, it should render there, but it's not. Uh, we're very close to the way station, and building like that, I've had uh, buildings, wall pieces and stuff like that become a part of a neighboring town. So we are going to be very, very careful of how we build things. I did not know I had bug houses. Well, crap. <laughs> um, so, how are we going to do this? Alright, so I think I'm going to do... I don't want to do another one of these here. love how tall that one is, too. <laughs> uh, completely by accident. I didn't set it up that high. It just It's how it turned out. But let's go ahead. We'll do the bug house. How high I can get you. Pretty high. Almost, uh, almost as if you're expecting a flood. So... Very curious. So we'll start a bug house here. Yes. Uh, this is normally with things like this, there is a lot of looking at stuff and planning that I do, but trying to do this while recording. Yeah. Painful to say the least, but uh, I don't want to just slap things down anywhere like I did with the uh, with my last playthrough. So let's turn. Let's see, I don't like out L houses. I think they're way too narrow to put anything in, and uh, they just look bad. The bug houses. Almost too bulky, really. Okay. Up. Okay, we'll go ahead and set you here. Starting out, just for starts. 
so good it is under our outpost which right now I'm just gonna call it the uh I'm not gonna call it anything because that didn't work. There we go. The gears. Stuff. Trading. Company. Office. You're not uh, open to the public yet. Which, funny story, <laughs> I forgot to check that box on my other playthrough. I was, I had a, uh, a little place set up to have people buy the food and whatnot that I was trading. Whoa, Nelly! Ugh. Alright, well, lifter's not gonna make it. Caller, again. What's happening with the lifter? Hopefully we can get Sad Neil to lifter. Alright, you just go straight to black scratch. Luckily those are blood reavers, aren't they? No, they're grass pirates, okay. I think if that was a blood reaver, they would have uh Potentially hacked him up. Alright, Sad Neil, do your thing. Follower, no longer follow Sad Neil. Sad Neil has saved these stupid Garu more times than I care to admit. Alright, so. Whoa. Hey, weirdness. Alright. Sad Neil away. How fast are you? Oh god. That is uh, in the realm of what we call not good. Alright. Well, worst case scenario, Sad Neil drops a uh, lifter and just carries on. Because I would rather lose a Garu than lose a Sad Neil. I have a feeling he's going to run right by those grass pirates, though. Where are you going right now? Okay, there you go. You're going to town. Good, good. Sad Neil, you getting there. Holler, you getting there. Alright, so you're in a recovery coma, so we're going to be carrying you for a while. Yeah, I desperately need to get a... Oh, okay. Alright, cool. That's cool. I desperately need to get a... A... Caravan guard open. So... Brass pirates. First, I'm going to murder you. I'm going to take all your stuff. Yep, 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 yep. Excuse me. Well, let's go visit our newest friend, Mr. Koteshi of uh, Black Scratch. Don't mind the blood; it'll it'll wash out. Oh, okay, it's only shoddy. thinking to myself maybe I'll keep that but uh, until I get an actual combat squad up or a uh, caravan guard in this case I won't uh, have the patience for it because using your speed and uh, and the range of a crossbow you can take out quite a few things with uh, with that, but it takes a lot of kiting, a lot of uh, a lot of quick maneuvers, being cautious, and I have almost none of that. So, <laughs> uh, 
Well, yeah, unless I, like, absolutely focus down on it. I don't have the patience for it. Okay, and... I think either of those other guys got tossed out. Oh, there they are. There's a couple more. What up? Find me. I'm just stealing everything off these dead guys. Drop that one on the ground. That's all right. Yep. Bunch of jerks. Hitting a uh, poor bot while he's oh, corpse furnaces. That's what those were. <laughs> that explains why those guys disappeared so quickly. Cool. All right. Tell me what you got. All right. Doop doop doop. Saddest part is this, uh, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to start selling weapons more than we are anything else because I'm not making a lot of money off the clothes, so maybe we'll figure something out for, uh, what to do with the rest of the clothes and stuff. Uh, put down, go ahead and repair, I don't have a repair kit. With lifter, now you do repair. Okay, so they'd go ahead and come to Robo Repair Robeto. Honestly, I ought to throw everybody through. I'll just get the ones that are quote unquote bleeding. Render a bit. So, no. the weird thing is, I don't like it. You, you guys, you guys. Why, why do you do this? Can't leave a. Can't leave a poor robot alone. <laughs> All right, let's run together. Want to make sure when these guys get hit, they get hit by everybody. And boom. Yay! <laughs> Alright, so... Oh, you bastards. This is killing me. This has literally been the most inventory management that I've ever played, Genshi, and that's... that is saying something. with this stuff. Oh, I know what to do with this stuff. Durr. All right, let's go ahead. Put all inside. That is cool. Cartoon one of a flesh cleaver. Yes, sir. You are now a cleaver man. Good. So I'm move to the, the armor bench. Or, uh, whatever. So the good thing about the, uh, the, uh, levers is they do a 20% increased damage to, uh, humans while having a 14 increase to uh, robots. I don't know if that's increased with uh, quality. I don't believe so, but either way, that's still, that's a pretty big jump for, uh, I don't know. Oh. That's a pretty big jump considered it, considering it's uh, percentage based, so yeah. 
go see all kinds of limbs flying. <laughs> so I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. I'm happy to see those come out. Um, although that would probably be more along the lines of somebody like Spade. Spade is a Mark III uh, Screamer model. And uh, they specialize in attacking. Render is a... Uh, well, his sub race is just skeleton, but uh, he's a he specializes in heavy weapons. So, but that's uh that's just their sub race bonus. But that can uh you can have them specialize in whatever you really want them to. Pick you up. Can't resist dying when I pick you up. Okay. I don't know if that was all of them. I, I don't feel like continuing to look, though. <laughs> These guys are taking up uh, a lot of my time. Oh, other way. Search him. And we'll toss him out. So let's take a look at the size of this building, see what we can do. You can do an awful lot in these buildings, which I love, but I just, I, I don't know, I hate the way the building looks. <laughs> I would much rather have a station house or something, and yeah, but let's go ahead and do some, do some quick designing. I think I have interior walls. Let's go ahead and make it out of metal. So, turn this into a production home. All right. Crafting. just gonna do maybe uh -huh. a little bit of wiggling around come on don't do that to me I'll take it <laughs> so yeah, uh, being since, since we're gonna be a trading company, like production is going to be major in the uh, in the things that we do. So we're going to have to maximize the amount of space, uh, try and pump out as much stuff as we can, which is gonna mean a lot of building changing. So yeah, um, this one's probably gonna become a robotics shop, uh, bitch. Robotics bench. Did I build one of these? No. No, I have not. So. Okay. Uh, getting ahead of myself, though. Let's focus on one building at a time. Interior wall made of metal. We're going to swivel and... to try and make it look a little bit believable. This one's gonna run into the stairs, I think. No, there might be enough space. Okay, so we have those. We have the building. And Okay, whew, I thought it crashed on me. 
I was like, uh oh, things aren't moving. <laughs> but it's paused. Okay, so. All of that's going through. Awesome, man. And eventually, these things are going to be upgraded to uh, Weapons Bench 3. Well, 2 for now. 3 will come, but, uh. Yeah. Y'all jerks. No, oh, stupid dogs. Okay, you run. Doesn't have a backpack. Um. Render you do. Over. Let's go ahead and loot the life out of these things. That can't be all. Dying, you're not dead. Though. Dead, dead, dead. Okay. Alright, well that's good for now. So, let's see how things are going here. Cool, cool. And what I think I'll do for storage is... don't know... See, I'm immediately not liking the way that I set this up. Maybe we'll do like a general supply storage kind of deal. Or like a, a sellable item storage. I don't know. <laughs> um, anyway, right now... Uh, my plan was to have like this back end be storage, but uh, I kind of goofed with the the way I set it up. Get a fragment axe. Katoon. I need another one of these guys. But at least he's pumping them out. We need to get as many of them out as we can, and. Uh, yeah, once we get three people whipping them out like that, uh, we'll need more storage for these guys, and yeah. But on that note, though, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode. Uh, we got kind of a map of what we're doing. Um, saved our pack beasts yet again, and uh, yeah, so kind of plan, sort of. Maybe a little. <laughs> uh, if you liked the episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, uh, go ahead and do a thumbs down. You know, do what you want to do. Um, subscribe if you're new and if you feel like it. And I hope to see you in the next one.